Game 3 of the NBA Finals. The Boston Celtics with a Game 3 opportunity to dig themselves out of a 2-0 hole. They will need to bring all they can muster against the Dallas Mavericks. Which heroes will rise? The NBA playoffs start now. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for the Mavericks, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington, and it's Green in at the three. Taking a look at Boston. Well, Greg, they were so confident coming into this series. Now suddenly they find themselves in desperation mode. And no doubt, Kevin, this is a feeling that's got to be unfamiliar. They've had a wonderful season. Everything was going their way. But in these last couple of games, we've seen some cracks in their arm. We certainly have. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Holiday against Doncic. The pass to Gaffer. Outside Irving. Produced screen on white. Irving with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. On the wing, Irving shoots over white. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Doncic. Irving's got the first points up on the board for Dallas. Looking around. Pass to Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Brushing off the contact look. The dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. Pass to Gafford. Dallas moving the ball around. Deceptive guard. You know how they draw fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. Well, Celtics shooting their first shots of the night from a charity strike. Free throw is good. Oh, free throws good from Drew Holiday. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Donchich outside. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And the level of concentration that Donchich has, even under pressure, this guy is cool as a cucumber. Now here is Holiday. Outside, Porzingis. Side Tatum. Green against Brown. Six on the shot clock. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. And here's Tatum for three. Nailed from three-point land. Tatum's got five now. Ooh, how about that extended range from Tatum? It's an absolute bomb. Outside Irving. Doncic against Holiday. Washington sets the pick for Doncic. Pass to Gafford. On the wing, Irving. 
Sheehan with a screen on White. Irving, good. Picking his shot very well. Kyrie, he doesn't let the clock dictate the shot that he's going to take. Tatum against Washington. From 12 feet out, rebounded by Gafford. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Dallas. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. For Boston, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Outside, White. It's rebounded by Dallas. They come into this game following a tremendous win on Wednesday. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Now, here's Brown following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Brown jams it in! Was it just me, or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Irving. He's got five. On the wing, Doncic. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Gafford throws it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. One oh four left to play in the first quarter. Hard away against Brown. Here's Hauser. His three pointers off the mark. For Dallas, they've gone four of seven from the field, shooting over fifty percent. Here's Doncic. That doesn't go in. Had a chance though to take the lead. Austin's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Cornette kicks to Horford. Azelnik's working the ball around now. Brown outside. Mavericks with the rebound. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. And the defense has to be aggressive with Luka from range. Give him any space, and he is looking to pull. Brown outside. Right wing. Harford inside the line. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Mavericks lead by three. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports.
And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks, great stuff. Celtics trail by three. We've got Irving. Jones is out there with Exum. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Lively in at the five down low. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. Here's Pritchard. No scoring in this one. In the corner, Horford with it. Five to shoot. Sinks the three-pointer. And that's how you want to get Horford his touches, within the flow of the offense, preferably right off the catch. Irving passes to Lively. Let's it go from 11. Second shot opportunity. That one's in his first shot this game. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the black. You literally practice that every day. Now here's Tatum. Five points in the game. And Tatum has a number of shots to choose from down low. This makes him a tough cover. On the wing, Irving. Five points in the game. Second chance shot. Lively, that's good. And Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Outside, Tatum. Inside. On the pass to Mikhailu. And again, Boston with the triple. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Irving from long range. And Boston with the rebound. Makai Luke passes to Pritchard. Kicks it to Tatum. To the middle. For double team. it up. Again, the Celtics good for two. And after that ragged first quarter, they're hitting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Hardaway passes to Irving. It's up a three. Ball stolen. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Passes it to McCaiwee. Back to Tatum, to the left wing, fires the three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Mavericks trail by six. Irving with it, now guarded by Tatum. Pass to Lively. The dish to Hardaway. Outside Irving. Jones sets the pick for Irving. Over Tatum, and that one's good, Irving. Irving's got seven points in the game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now a timeout called by Boston.
almost an entire new group. Porzingis is checked in for Luke Cornett. Brown comes in for Tatum. Derek White's checked in for Mikhail Luke. And it's Holiday in for Pritchard. Here's Przingis, still yet to score. 152 left to play here in the half. Brown against Green. Brown right side. Three on the clock. Over Green. Brown, no good. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Pass to Exum. A minute 20 left in the first half. The pass to Gaffer. Green kicks to Doncic. Over Brown. And it's Doncic missing. Credit the defensive effort there. Not giving him room to operate. Holiday and it's slammed in by Holiday and scanning the floor well. Porzingis is all about finding open teammates when they've got a look. There's a screen by Washington, and here's Doncic from the arc. No good, he has missed three of his five attempts this game. Round kicks to Holiday. 41 seconds left here in the second. White with it, now defended by Exum. White the pass to Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Doncic. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And the dunk by Porzingis. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Pass to Gaffer. Doncic kicks to Green. Gafford sets the pick for Exum. Down low. Porzingis with the block. And the 7-3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. Here's Brown. And so we conclude the first half. It's the Celtics as they end the second quarter with a tremendous 17-6 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, they got themselves going in the second quarter. How do you get control of the game back? It starts with not getting the ball out of the net. You know, we, we got to get stopped, and uh, it starts in that end. That, that's where it's really going to start for us. And uh, we just got to continue to compete. That's all. Kyrie, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Boston Celtics. 
They're like a spoiled kid in the candy shop. Whatever they want on offense, they're getting it. And the defense is like the kid's parents, too scared to tell the boy no. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting a glimpse into your past right now, Shaq. Feels oddly specific. Looking at how the Celtics are doing in this series, some would look at this game as a must-win in the series. One of the keys to getting it done. For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball. Treating every... Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. to bring you more action from Game 3. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum, getting it done today. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Mazula's five. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. Outside Irving. Here's Doncic. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And it's seven points for Luka Doncic. Ooh, that's a clever pass there by Kyrie, getting the ball to the guy for the better look. Green against Brown. Outside, Brzingis. Doncic against Howard. Let's it go from deep, and the Celtics hit again from deep. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D, showing he can hurt you from that area. Pass to Gafford. Here's Doncic. For the screen on Holiday. And here's Doncic from the arc. And Tatum pulls it down. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point line. Round with it. Outside, White. Back to Brown. A three ball. No good on that one. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Bonjour's outside. Watch outside. On the wing, Irving. Light covering. Fires at the elbow. Irving misses. Celtics leading by 11. White left side. Outside Tatum. There's the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got five rebounds tonight. Outside Green. Back to Doncic. Dallas moving it around. From downtown. Outside Irving. Washington sets the pick for Irving. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Irving's got it back down to single digits for the man. Such a confident jumper. It's just like Kyrie knows it's going in the minute he releases it. Holiday finds White. A three from Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. For the screen on Howard. A three. Pass to Doncic. And here's Washington outside. Here's Gafford. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Holiday surveying the floor. Tatum, that's for two. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Tatum's got 13. 
The efficiency from Tatum on the offensive end is terrific, not letting any scoring chances pass him by. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. We've got 113 left here in the third quarter. I believe the pass to Doncic. Dishes it to Hardaway. Rocket six. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Horford. Yeah, easy call. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws of the game. That free throw good from Hardaway. And so he makes both from the line. Austin leading by seven. Here's Pritchard. No good that time. Good D by Jones. Hardaway with a wide open look. Good. And the assist goes to Dyson. Doncic has got three assists in the game. Brown against Hardaway. And they pick up two. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Hardaway kicks to Doncic. Looking to get it going. Doncic gets it to go inside. It'll take more than that to knock Luka off his spot. Brown outside. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. Brown and count it from 19 feet away. Brown's got six. And so it's Boston with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll return shortly. start the fourth quarter what is still anybody's ball game average trail by six Washington out there with Exxon and it's Kyrie Irving then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. and it's lively in at the five patrol on the paint that's the lineup in the game for Dallas and he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had for three Pritchard. He's covered by Washington. Here's Horford. A rebound by Washington. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at the rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Exum passes to Hardaway. From the top of the key, he buries it. Hardaway has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Dallas. Outside Tatum. And there's the pass to Hauser. 
Celtics passing it around. Tatum gets it inside. This is how confident Tatum is. Knows he can score inside whenever he wants. Unloads from 13. By the way, no good. Ooh, my rest that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Tatum, no good. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Hardaway passes to Lively, and it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Now a timeout called by Boston. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor, and these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the batteries. And a new group in for the Celtics. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Listened in on what Joe Mazzulla told his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Now here is Holiday. The kick out to Brown. Hands it from downtown. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Doncic feeling it out on the wing, Irving. Gafford tips it back in. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Outside, White, a three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got eight rebounds in this game. He dishes it to Hardaway. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Just five to shoot. Irving kicks to Kleba. Here's Gafford. Rebounded by the Celtics. Persingas has got six rebounds in the game. Doncic against Tatum. Driving in. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Oh, you got to prevent Tatum from getting into the lake. Because once he's in there, you're done. Now, here's Doncic. Here's Gafford. You know what? They battle on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And so it's Porzingis. will bring it up for Boston. So far in the fourth quarter, they belong to six points. On the line. Rebounded by Hardaway. Average trail by seven. Doncic right side. Shoots the three. Doncic knocks in the three. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. Tatum dishes to Brown. Back to Tatum. Trills the three-pointer. And the Celtics lead by seven. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now. Getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. The incredible Doncic decides he wants to take over. And once his personnel comes up with the goods on that one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First team White, wide open, he fires. And the Celtics, another three. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Dallas calls timeout. They trail by seven. 
There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Half reduced to green on white. Irving from long range. Gafford inside. Tatum on him. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. 17 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Holiday against Doncic. Jacks up a three. It's money from deep. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he could close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And the Mavericks call time here. They're down by five. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, it has to be fast. They got to take the first good look they get. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Here's Gafford. Ties a three off the inbound. Just such a menace. Tatum can really stretch the floor for them defensively. So it's the Celtics picking up the win. Things were looking bleak for him, obviously, coming into this game. But with tonight's win, Greg, they are right back in it. And, and that's the fight this team has. They don't care what the odds are. They are going to keep battling. And, and suddenly, we've got a series on our hands. Mm, we sure do. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.